So uh, one of the stars of uh, Jojo Rabbit, Luke Brandon Field, had a very interesting experience working on this film. Uh, he himself is Jewish, um, but I'm excited. To delve I'm excited into to this. talk. So joining really us excited. right now uh, is Luke Brandon Field. Luke, welcome uh, to TMZ Live. Hey, How Luke. are you doing? Hi. Hey, hey, Luke, I got to tell you, first of all, I loved your movie. Loved the movie. I just thought your movie was spectacular and moving and interesting. It was fantastic. Thank you very much. It's awesome for you to say thank you. Really, I, I, it just moved me so much. And I just thought it was so interesting the way this was done. You know, it's interesting, Luke, because, you know, a lot of this does have to do with taking license. And again, I was so moved by by your movie. Um, there was license taken in that. I mean, you know, when you look at JoJo at the end with the dancing, I mean, it was so interesting to me, but it wasn't necessarily, you know, completely true to form, but it worked for me. And I'm wondering what the difference would be, whether you can take license in movies like this. I think you can take license. I mean, you can stick to the fact sometimes you can't be completely truthful because it might not work with, for dramatic purposes. Right. But I think in JoJo, you know, especially the dancing bit at the end with the Bowie song, like it's an expression of freedom. And I think um, after after so long, people really enjoy that. And uh, this is one of the fa my favorite parts of the movie. And I've read some of this that you talked about being, uh, you know, playing a, a, a Hitler Youth training camp leader. It's not, not an easy thing for you to, uh, an easy role for you to take on. As a Jew. Absolutely. I mean, uh, I was definitely very worried about telling my grandparents, but we got over that. Um, I, in the end of the day, we did a lot of research, which was uh, amazing. Read a lot of books about the Hitler Youth and watched a lot of documentaries. Um, and, and when you're acting, especially when you take on a role of that weight, you have to leave all your personal stuff at the door and, and just try and focus on doing the best job possible. And I think everyone in the cast did an incredible job. That's why the movie is so special. Also, we had an incredible script and a wonderful director. What did your yeah, grandparents an, an say? An Oscar-winning script, we should say. Yeah, yeah. My <laughs> grandpa, I told them, they were like, oh, Bubby, we're so happy for you. What's the, what's the movie? What are you playing? I said, I, I'm playing, you know, a bully. <laughs> <laughs> you just said the name. Oh, it's, it's just a guy named Kristoff. That's all. <laughs> just, just, a, just a fella. He's, he's hit the goose. Suddenly... The phone went dead. I thought, oh, no, this is this is this is it. Um, and they said, my grandmother said, Hitler Youth, is it a comedy? I said, yes, it is. It's a comedy, of course. And she said, well, if it worked for Mel Brooks, it'll work for you. Oh, exactly. my God, that's I, hysterical. It's so funny you said that. That's, <laughs> I was going to say, you should play the Mel Brooks card. Mel, hey, Mel Brooks did it, remember? It was good. Exactly. Uh, well, that's it, my answer for everything. Well, it definitely uh, it worked out very well for you, Luke. Uh, great film, and thank you so much great for film. being with us. Luke, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Really thank appreciate you. Thanks it. Thanks a lot, guys.